Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome to my craft room. Today I'm gonna to be making a project with this beautiful garden paper pad. I got it for Joanne's, from Joanne's, first edition paper, $13.97, which is a lot for me to pay for a paper pad, but I absolutely loved it. Um, half of it is double-sided. I know I missed some. And then the top sheets are um, pearlescent. Super pretty. So I'm gonna put that aside and this is what I'm making. It's like a coin envelope or a pocket and it's made from vellum and the pattern paper. And this is all from that paper pad. I just punched out some images and um, yeah, I came up with this and I was inspired by Lyric Lover Crafts. So you could hook it into a journal stuff it with ephemera or some other fun things, mail it to a friend as some happy mail. Super cute little, little pouch. So to make one this size, you're gonna get an eight by five piece of paper, all right? If it's directional, which I believe this is, it's eight by five, all right? Or I would say actually five by eight, all right? So then your acetate, I'm gonna keep saying acetate, I mean vellum, <laughs> is going to be four by six for this size. You can make it any size you want. As a matter of fact, I have an off cut of this pretty vellum and I'm gonna make a smaller one and I'm gonna show you how in a minute. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna need um, a scoreboard and mine is part of my trimmer. So I'm going to do, it's gonna be up and down. I'm gonna do a half an inch, not cut Joanne, score. A half an inch on the other side, or it would be at like what, four? Four and a half? I think it would be at four and a half. All right. I'm going to do a half an inch from the bottom. So around three of the sides, I'm going to have a half an inch score line. All right. And then I'm going to have one and a half inches. So I can put it in this way of mine. I want a one and a half inch score line here. So I'm going to actually stick it in this way. My trimmer might be different than yours, but I think it'd be easy just to let you know what you have up top. Okay, so that's it. All of my scores are there. Um, I'm gonna fold this a little bit. Now I chose this paper because I don't love the side of it. Eek on snails, <laughs> All right? And these other bugs aren't much better. But the ladybugs, I don't know what made them cute. Who knows? So anyhow, I'm going to look at the bottom where I have a half an inch score down the side and a half an inch on the bottom. So that leaves me this square in here. So I'm going to take my scissors and where that square, see it right here in the corner? I'm going to cut on a diagonal like that. All right, I'll try to get a little closer here. Well, you can see that and it um, focused and I'm gonna cut a half, all right? So that's gonna be the bottom. All right, super cute. And then up here, we have this kind of rectangle, right? We have the rectangle. So I'm basically gonna cut that out, but I'm also gonna put a little bit of an angle here. So I'm gonna cut there and straight up which doesn't look super straight. Let me just try to straighten this because I want it to look professional or not professional, you know what I mean? Like nice. All right, same thing with this one. I'm gonna cut that square to the corner or rectangle to the corner and then I'm going to cut the angle right there. So I end up like this with my flat. Now I have this coming in a little bit because I didn't cut it super straight. So I'm just gonna take a little smidge off of that side just too and make it look intentional. All right, so now I have that. Next step, a corner rounder, if you have one. If you don't, you can just cut it. 
I have one and I'm gonna do that top piece and this piece. All right, here's where you can use glue. Um, glue and vellum, mainly acetate and, and glue and I don't get along because <laughs> I end up getting it all over everything. I'm gonna use double-sided tape with this. And this is a quarter of an inch. So I don't feel like I need to glue it, but if you only have glue, by all means, glue it. So next step is I'm gonna put double-sided paper, double-sided paper, double-sided tape along here. I'm not gonna waste anything. So I'm just gonna add a piece to that. And then along the bottom. Now, if you really want it to stick well, I would def definitely take either my bone folder or a credit card or something and really push that down because otherwise it's just gonna be eh. It's gonna be an eh hold and we want a great hold. So then here's my four by six piece of vellum. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that. I know I told you four by six and I was, I was true to my word, but I'm gonna take a slight little piece off of this one side and a little tiny bit off the bottom. It'll just make it sit in its little pocket better. Next step. I'm going to take my, um, the bottom sticky tape, double-sided tape. I'm going to place this in here really straight, paying attention to the sides and the bottom. I want this really butted up to the um, bottom here, and I'm going to fold that up. All right, and it's going to kind of be like this. Well, that would make a neat little pocket or something. Hmm. The brain is going. And then I'm gonna take it off the side and fold that over. I'm gonna take it off of this side and I'm gonna fold that over. All right, and then I have this really cool little pocket that I can see through because it's vellum. And, uh, and here's the top. Now I had pre-cut, um, punched some circles. If you don't have a hole puncher, it's okay. You can cut something out. It doesn't have to be circle. Um, so I wasn't sure which closure I wanted with this. What size do I have here? All right, this is two inches. So this must be one and a half, and then I have the little one. So I could do it like this, or I could put a white one on it. And I thought the paper was more white, but I think it would kind of look better cream. Let me, let me bring that out as an option. I thought I had thought of everything, but I also thought that looked white to me. And it does. It looks creamy to me. Uh, why can't I find my cream? I could just pick a different one and it wouldn't matter. Well, this is. That's not going to go. It's the very top folder, which is why I couldn't find it. Oh my gosh. So I'll do a two, I'll do a two inch. And a one and a half. So it's, it's like kind of between, 
I don't know, it's more brown, I guess. So I think I'm gonna use this. And that, or should I do it smaller? I think I kinda like this one smaller. All right, here I go. We are gonna close it. All right, so I did that wrong. <laughs> Let's try that again. This is what I want to glue, and I don't want the snail. I want the cute little ladybug on this side. And I'm going to center it. Now, for this, I would use glue because it gives you a little bit of um, time to play around with it and make sure it's super centered. And then I have to decide, do I want them crawling up? I think I do. Up and away from me. So I don't want glue on this bottom half. I only want it on the top, like almost half, not quite. And then I'm gonna put it center. Oops, sorry if I just hit the ca um, camera. All right, so there's that one. I do like it. Let me close my glue. So here's these two. Oh, it'd be so cute to make like a little notebook or something to go on the inside. Oh, the ideas. The ideas. All right, so I'm going to do a smaller one, and I'm going to show you how I decide the size of the paper. So this is my vellum that I had left over, and it is one, two, three, five by three. So I want a half an inch, a half an inch. So that becomes four. This is five. I need a half an inch here. So it's five and a half. And then I think I want an inch here since it's a smaller envelope. I have an inch and a half on the other one. Let's start with the inch and a half. So it's gonna be two on top of five. So it's gonna be seven by four. Seven by four, is that what I cut? Four. By seven. All right, Joanne, you're doing well. That's how you figure it out. You're putting a hit, you're taking your vellum if you only have a scrap. You're putting in half an inch on each side, which would be an inch into this, a half an inch at the bottom, and an inch and a half at the top. And just by looking, I think that looks right. I think anything smaller would not look right. All right, I'm going to just go through it one more time. So I'm doing a half an inch around three sides, a half, a half, and a half. And then whatever your top is, which on this paper it's up here, it's gonna be an inch and a half. All right, that's the best way I can explain it. All right, and then I'm gonna fold these up so that I can see my corners. I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm going to cut this way. Hit that little corner there almost. And same thing over here. All right, and I'm also going to cut off this top rectangle, which is really hard to see and I'm going to do it on an angle underneath. I'll try to do this one straight. All right, I'm at that intersection and then I'm going to cut off about the same angle as I did on the other side. Take my corner rounder, around there, around here, Aren't these so cute? I just love them. Love them, love them. Especially love that vellum. I'm going to have to go and get some more um, patterned vellum because I've really enjoyed using it in my projects and I had only bought, I think, one sheet. I used it in a journal. 
and that might be what I have left. So I'm just gonna use my scissors because they're here. Let's kind of burnish that down. A little extra right here. This is one of those fun little fast projects that turn out so cute. You could do vintage. Maybe I'll do a vintage one next. All right, so I'm gonna take this off the bottom. Figure out which is the top. Really put, oh, I didn't take an extra splice, did I? Let me see. Yeah, I did on this one. Yes, I did. So I'm going to center that like this. Really push it down into the bottom. Uh, I might need to take a little, little slice off of this. Super little slice. I think I did that straight. I'm shocked. Can you hear the shock in my voice? Because <laughs> I got that straight. Yeah, I'm at the place where I really need to make some things for the inside of my journals and um because i have two covers made but i don't have a lot to go inside and the last one i made i had all this ephemera already made all these little pieces and um it just worked out so nicely so here's this one did i not put all right i feel like i need more in here right here for some reason that didn't stick real well so this would be a really cute project like i said i'm very limited to my supplies at the moment so do i want that Try this again have a smaller one which I definitely want to use on this and I have this cute little butterfly I think I'm going to use oh I love it love that vellum so put the glue on the um, top part because it's smaller not like I did the last time and put it on the bottom part center that Remember, glue gives you a little bit of wiggle room. And I needed it with that one. I don't want to get glue on the bottom there. So that's where I'm gonna put my fingers. And I'm gonna glue the top on. Halfway or thereabouts. Make sure it's straight, straight and centered. Did I put the glue on the wrong side? No. Why doesn't this wanna stay? All right, let me hold that down just for a second. Put my toppers back in. I always make such a mess. I have two things on that one. All right. Super cute. All right, I have three made. How cute are these? I'm loving them. All right. I hope you enjoyed that. Questions or comments below. Give the video a thumbs up. It helps push it out there in YouTube world. Um, if you feel so inclined, if you feel so inclined to subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I appreciate the time that you spent with me. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Okay. One more quick thing, and I hope I stopped you before you signed off. Um, tying it. So. Um, that doesn't really go that great. Let me, um, either does that. All right, I'm just going to use twine for the sake of showing. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this two, ah, three times at least, bring it back around, and just tie it on the front. All right. Basically what I'm going to do, another option, you don't have to use paper here. And if you do, you could still leave some room 
And if you want something real thin, you just wrap it around there, glue it, and then ch -ch 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 -ch. just like that. <laughs> choo, 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 choo. Um, I'm going to look for some red, I think. It'll look nice with this. And then just, you know, tie a little bow. I would get this to be a little more um, centered, but something like that. Really cute. Love it. All right, now have a great day.